Okay. Today we're going to try to take a tour of the International Space Station. The year 1998 saw the first parts of a modern miracle transported into space. Two years later, the first people called it home. Over the following years, more modules were added until in 2011, the International Space Station was complete. Located over 200 miles above the surface of the planet and orbiting the planet once every 90 minutes, the International Space Station is a wonder of international cooperation and technology. Permanently manned. This is Maris. Sometimes we call it the monster just because it's so big and it's actually pretty complicated to assemble. Um, the purpose of Maris is to study muscles and in particular muscle atrophy in space. And now it's, uh, it's of course all tucked away and, uh, and sleeping in its, uh, in its rack. But uh, during the Futura mission, I had the chance of actually assemble it and uh, do some calibration work on it. There are a lot of tutorials throughout. It's very interesting. And to go to the next module. And this is where we're at with the end down here in the habitat. As we This is an MWA, a maintenance work area. We have two of those. There is this one on the starboard wall of Node 2, and then there is one on the opposite wall over there. Uh, we use MWAs typically to do complex science or uh, maintenance work where you know it's, it's, it's lengthy, it's complex, we want a nice work environment, we want to be able to secure this equipment, we want nothing to be floating away. Uh, this is the stored position of The detail is amazing. This is CVIS, our cycloergometer. I'm sure it doesn't quite look like a bike to you yet, but I will show you that you can actually bike on it. Uh, I also want to show you first, though, uh, that it's uh, mounted on a movable frame that is attached to the space station via a isolating system, a dampening system, so that we impart as little as possible of the loads we generate on the bike into the structure of the ISS, and that way we protect the microgravity environment uh, of the space station. So let's say I want to do a CVIS session now. The first thing would be to flip on the switch so that uh, the CVIS computer has time to boot up while, while I get ready. I've done that already. And then I would move the, the actual... Just taking a brief tour. There's uh, so much here to look at. This is PMA-1, the pressurized mating adapter number one. Uh, it was launched together with Node 1, and it is the transition element to the Russian part of the space station. Down there, you can maybe catch a glimpse of uh, FGB, which is the very first module of the space station that was launched. Today, we used PMA a lot for storage. Uh, we keep in here a lot of pantry items in their own uh, um, dedicated bags or CTBs. For example, here you can see the disinfectant wipes pantry. Pantry means that uh, those items are not tracked individually. This, uh, this so this is the Russian module. Okay. Okay. No. 
it's not. <laughs> okay. This is a pretty stationary demo, but it's a very interesting one. You can see it says going back and right to the end of it now. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy, and uh, you might want to take some time for this one to go through all of the different demos that they have in here, but it's a very interesting.